it's Kathy and I'm back with another process video for Trim Your Stash and this time I'm working with some Pink Fresh uh, Live More collection and I'm working with an older sticker sheet called, um, it's from Amy Tangerine, I think it was called Stitches or Stitched or something like that. Um, I had a bunch of the papers I bought as a paper pad and I actually have um, purged most of it for my stash uh, <clears throat> already. Um, but I still have the stickers and whatnot, so I thought I had just one sheet of stickers and I was really happy that I used up quite a few of them, and turns out I actually have two sticker sheets, so maybe this, <laughs> I might be using it up in another one, uh, in another video, but my main goal for this one was, I've been kind of hoarding this paper, I really liked it, but I, I just was not sure, um, what would be the perfect photo to go with it. Um, you could kind of do just about anything with with this paper. It was very versatile and it was really neat and I really wasn't sure how to set up a layout on it or or anything like that and uh, I just thought, you know, um, why not just kind of go for it? Uh, I found, I had these pictures of my son and daughter on the first day of school back in September and I have separate ones of them, um, so ones of just her and ones of just of just him. But I liked uh, these pictures that they took together because they are such goofs when they try to take a picture together. One is always acting up, or <laughs> uh, it's usually her. You think for someone who always wants to be a princess and and do all this stuff that when it came to actually getting your picture taken, she'd be a, she'd be more. Um, open to it but she immediately begins to completely goof off so so her facial expressions in the picture just crack me up anyway <clears throat> um they had a lot of there was a lot of colors going on in the pictures and I just thought that this would be a really good I don't know just a really good uh contrast uh to do it on this page that's primarily neutral but has like this really cool color block and they're wearing lots of those same colors and then there's all these nice little phrases going around it um and whatnot i cut out those those triangles but i don't end up using those stripes at all um i want to keep it relatively uh not busy on the background uh <laughs> though i do end up going crazy busy on uh <clears throat> on the embellishing, which is part of the course for me. Uh, that green piece of paper that you see there is not from this same collection. And, th and there's, this is from the Dream On collection as well. So I'm using some of this. I'm going to cut it up and put some on the top and some on the bottom. Now, I think some of the reason I haven't been using my Pink Fresh Studio, um, this is from like the spring they released two different lines dream on and live more and they coordinated quite well together uh, but I think some of the reason that I had not been using it um, as much or delving into getting to to using it up <coughs> excuse me was just the fact that the, I really love uh, pink for studio stuff sometimes though they have a lot of of phrases in their ephemera. Um, you'll notice when I go getting, when I go through their, their ephemera, you'll notice a lot of, of uh, ephemera that has sayings on it or phrases or different things like that. And it's hard to use a lot of that in one layout because then, <laughs> then your layout just kind of becomes a book at that point. It's just all about reading. It's hard to know where a title might be or things like that so I had a little bit of difficulty with that but I do end up using as much as I can and that was kind of the goal was I have so much of the Live More collection and the Dream On collection and they were great spring colors and I really thought I'd actually have it all gone by now and I don't but I've already gotten uh, so much new stuff I know you guys can't hear it, but I can hear the geese outside my window. Um, we live like in the perfect spot where all the the uh, Canada geese fly south for the winter. 
and they all pass overhead. So from about, oh my God, guys, it seriously sounds like the birds out there. Like I'm now kind of scared. There's so many of them. It, they all go above our, <clears throat> above our house to get to where they're going. And I, lo I love watching them. I squeal and like go run out every time I hear them, but I'm not going to do that right now because I'm, <laughs> I'm recording, but they can be quite loud and they like to go into a field that's across the street from, from our house and they kind of chill there and eat and stuff before they, before they move on. Um, and that's my story about the geese. Anyone who follows me on Instagram, um, I did put up a picture recently of the geese across the street from us because I just love them flying in their formation and the honking is hilarious. But that was really loud just a second ago, like frighteningly loud. Anyway, as you can see, I'm picking through the ephemera and you can see like all, every piece of ephemera that I picked out um, from Pink Fresh Studio has some kind of writing on it. The one thing that didn't, that um, that kite, which I do use, is not from Pinkfresh Studio. So there you go. Um, <clears> there's <throat> something else I kind of, I had thought about separating out my photos and putting ephemera in between. And like looking at it now, I kind of wish I had done that. I think it would have worked, but I kind of got scared. This is like everyone, Maybe maybe people think that I have no fear when it comes to certain things, but I do. And I was fearing the idea of doing that. Uh, and so I just stick with this whole like three photos together kind of thing. One popped up a little bit more than the others and the other two underneath, which is pretty typical. It's not a, it's not anything new. And then I embellish around them. But I kind of wish I had, um, tried to do like a whole line of just ephemera and uh, popped up and different things like that. I think it might have might have been really cool. But uh, I another day, another day, another layout, I will do that. Uh, these stickers are clear, so they can be a little tricky to use, um, which is probably why I've never really used up many of them. But I am going to try to use up... Uh, what I can and the colors go well because the reds are very similar uh, stuff like that so now I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing of course it's stuck down now and <laughs> I don't want the I don't want the tag to be out too far and I'm just getting really picky now but uh, yeah <laughs> so that's just me being picky um, the the Amy Tangerine stickers have silver accents, but the Dream On, no, the Live More collection has copper accents um, or rose gold accents, whatever you want to. They kind of look very, they, to me it looks like it could be copper or it could be rose gold. It's almost, it's almost the same. Um, and they are beautiful. I do love that color, uh, but it, it was odd to kind of, combine two different metallics, but I did it. I loved that you can do amazing things. I really wish I had put it in, but I put the camera in before that. And because of it, I, it just would have looked really weird to me <clears throat> to have that camera peeking out behind and, and not really in the, uh, in the right spot. So I'm going to use seize the day, uh, which I think is a great little title for this because it is their first day. Um, my son had a lot of difficulties in grade two. Um, we found out he had some hearing loss and stuff like that. So uh, th that kind of explained a little bit of it, but he's been, um, trying really hard in grade three. So, uh, I'm really proud of him for that, but I just, I want him to go out and go to school and seize the day and, uh, whew, I'm yawning and not get discouraged. And she's starting, Lily's starting started kindergarten this year and uh, I wasn't sure how she was going to react to it. Um, she can be a little bit, she can little, be a little bit full of drama. So there are some days where she comes home and she's telling me stories and I, 
I have to say, I think they're made up <laughs> um, by the sounds of what she's saying, because it, it usually involves, usually I don't hear about the story until Seth has told a story of his, and then her stories sound very similar to something that might have happened to one of the other kids in his class, and it's just like, ah, okay, we're just, we're doing that. <laughs> so, um... But I try to, I, I listen and pay attention to, to what she tells me goes on, um, just in case there ever was something. But you can see what I mean by there's a lot of phrases going on now. I mean, there's, there's stuff everywhere. Um, so I want to bring in the kite. I just thought it was nice. I brought in the deer head simply because I needed something that was another image, I guess, and not just more phrases. Uh, like the heart. Unfortunately, no, the kite stays, the deer head stays, but that I do get rid of the flower. It just, it wasn't quite, wasn't quite working. And I just kind of stuck that randomly. It doesn't end up staying there, but it does just go somewhere random. I don't know. I just stuck it. <laughs> just stuck it down. Wasn't even worried about it. But, um, yeah, the flower just did not quite go with this layout. It was a little bit more um, larger images and graphics, so that dainty little flower didn't seem to be appropriate. But as you can, you can see what I mean by like the phrases and stuff. That that piece of chipboard is just a huge, huge quote, <laughs> so it can get a little tricky, um, which I think might be some. I, I'm not sure if anyone else is, I, and I'm not complaining. Uh, I, I really do love their stuff. I just, that's my big uh, trick with it is figuring out what to do that way. I do stick those lines there and I'm pretty certain I leave them there and I don't know why I left them there. They just seem silly there. I should have put them somewhere where they actually made sense, but I was kind of just randomly sticking stickers around just to make it look haphazard in a way. Anyway, I wanted to bring in a little bit more uh, contrast, so I'm going to bring in the little black words there, always and certainly, uh, like certain, always to do, adventures, certainly, kind of thing. <laughs> I want to bring in some other shapes, so I'm bringing in some circles. Um, I, get, I just get rid of the hip, hip, hooray, eventually. I guess maybe it was just that it was too much for me at that point. It was just too much. Uh, words and I bring in this circle so that I have a circle on each side that type thing and then I think I just bring in a few puffy sticker um, like little little words and arrows and stuff like that to kind of finish it off and then the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm pretty certain it's high I don't think I go do black acrylic paint uh, I think it's black Heidi Swap color shine is what I end up using. I do like the the combo of the silver accents and the rose gold accents. I thought they worked really well together. Um, just bringing in little bits of color. And I like the combo of the clear stickers with the, uh, that are not even from this collection, with this collection. Um, and that kite was actually from Echo, an Echo Park or Simple Stories Summer Collection. I think it was Simple Stories. Summer collection. And uh, <laughs> before I forget, put in some twine because I do often forget to t put twine in my tags. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm probably going to end up um, journaling there in the bottom left hand corner at some point. But that's about it. Um, pictures are coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an awesome day. And I will see you guys all in the next video. So yeah, bye.